I like training by myself probably because um, I always have this me against the world mentality, you know? It's, ultimately, it's gonna be me by myself on that stage. I'm gonna have to be the one that lifts the weight. I'm gonna have to be the one that eats all the meals. I'm gonna have to be the one that gets all the ounces of sleep and you know, the, the, you know I'm gonna have to be the one. I can't really rely on someone to push me through a workout. Is it nice to have someone there that's training with you? Absolutely, I, I wouldn't mind having a friend of mine that would like to do it. But even my close friends know that I like training by myself. I like putting my headphones on and, and, and zoning out from the rest of the world and just focusing on what I'm doing. And maybe that's because I grew up as an only child. I did a lot of things by myself and, I'm, and I have no problem training by myself, going to movie by myself, staying in a hotel obviously by myself, you know, flying by myself. Um, but it's, it is tough. You know, there's days where, you know, when you're doing legs and you're piling on the plates on the leg press machines and it's just you doing it. But then I keep telling myself, I'm like, Phil, you're actually getting better because you're doing this by yourself. You don't necessarily need someone yelling at you to go lift that weight. You can yell at yourself. You know, I, I can be my own boss with this. And I think I like that control. I think it's, I think it's, probably because I'm having a good time. I think anytime you know you find somebody that's very passionate about what they're doing, and as a professional, they're able to smile when they're doing it. Um, I think once you get in that, that right frame of mind and that zone, nothing else matters and it's just you. And you know, I work my butt off, you know, and I, I just, I enjoy lifting. I enjoy the way I look. I enjoy the way it feels while I'm lifting. I, I enjoy the way I look after I'm lifting. When I'm posing in the mirror and stuff, I like to know that I got something out of this workout. And, you know, having a training partner could be helpful, but if they're pulling half the weight up for you just because you're trying to stack on too much weight, I, I don't think it's helpful at all, you know? I, I've seen, I see it all the time. And I, I just don't believe that, uh, you know, being a bodybuilder means that you have to overexert yourself to where you have to have someone lift it for you. I think you should be able to lift all of it yourself because if I lift it all myself, I'm getting maximum benefit, right? But if I'm having you help me, even if it's a little bit heavier than what I'm a, a used to, I still may get injured and I, and I still probably only get, I'm thinking I'm getting 100% of that rep. No, I'm not, I'm probably getting 75. Well, guess what? You're still now at a number where if I was at 100%, I'm still getting more than you. So ultimately, I just rather do it by myself. I know I can hold myself accountable. If I don't show up to the gym, I lose. But if I, if I ask you to show up to the gym and your wife calls and says, you know, you need to pick kids up from daycare. Hey, Phil, sorry, I can't make it. Then now I'm bummed. Oh man, he's not gonna show up today. Well, I don't care. If you wanna, it would be to the point where someone really wanted to train with me, I would tell them this is the time and the place. And if you don't show up, fine. <laughs>